from WFRV TV Local 5, your local election headquarters. This is Newsmaker Sunday with your host, Tom Zelaski. Good morning. Welcome to Newsmaker Sunday. We continue our conversations with the candidates for mayor of Green Bay. Guy Zima, a former alderman and Brown County supervisor, has served in city and county government for more than 40 years now before losing both seats in the past election. Mr. Zima has often clashed with outgoing mayor Jim Schmidt and has filed a defamation suit against the city and the mayor himself. And upon leaving office, Zima was the subject of a code of conduct complaint, which has since been dropped. Mr. Zima joins us now this morning. Guy Zima, welcome. Hello. Thanks for, thanks Good for to joining see you. us. Uh, in the introduction, we were talking about some of the controversies that you have been involved in, the code of conduct complaint. Um, where does your suit against the city stand right now? Well, the mayor has been served and the, and the city attorney has been served. And, uh, you know, somebody has to stand up against the kind of stuff they've done. Uh, you know, the, the mayor created the code of conduct, which isn't any more constitutional than the man on the moon. I mean, we all have to live by the laws of the federal government, the state government, the local ordinances, and we even have Robert's Rules of Order. But he put together, you know, this code of conduct that only applies to aldermen. And, of course, he's basically used it to try to abuse anybody who's an opponent of his. That's what it was all about. Two or three of the news outlets said that when it was created, it was to get Guy Zimma. And, of course, that's what they've been doing. But, you know, uh, somebody has to stand against it. He can't come on this television station and tell people that I'm the Harvey Weinstein of Green Bay and I like to prey on women, especially young women. I mean, it's just absurd. I'm just not that dandy of a guy. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I don't think we're here to talk about that today. Right. No, you have. But, uh, you know, if, if, if something comes of it, uh, which I believe it will, he's going to have to answer. Somebody has to answer. They just can't smear you prior to elections. And then think they, they don't have to give you a hearing, don't give you a chance to clear yourself. You know, the council sent it back twice to be heard. And um, in the end, the, the lawyers there said, well, you'll have to take civil action if you don't like it. So I sit there, dragged through the mud uh, like, a, like a dirty, rotten scoundrel, and don't even get to have a say. Well, uh, you know, there were no complaints against me. Mm -hmm. I filed under Freedom of Information and got that. And the guy who created all the fake news was Mr. Jim Schmidt. So, uh, but you know, we're not here to talk about that. It has to be done though, because we've got to get rid of that thing. Uh, the most incivil person all these years has been Jim Schmidt. Anytime he doesn't like what's being said, he turns the mic off. He starts timing you. People he likes, they go on forever. The ones he doesn't like get shut off. And I was county board chairman. I was elected by my peers uh, four different terms, eight years in all, and I never gagged anybody. I always felt that the widest range of opinion is what was necessary to make good decisions. And I tell you, uh, I'm running for Mayor of Green Bay after all this time. I decided about 30 years ago I'd never run again because, you know, if you're not for sale, it's hard to go forward because you can't meet everybody, talk everybody. That's why I appreciate you guys inviting me here today because it gives a chance for people to see the real thing, the real article. Guy, why did you decide to run? Well, I thought, you know, after I had decided not to run anymore and stay in the trenches and just try to, you know, do the good job in the trenches, I thought, well, 30 or more years, and of course it's been 40 in all, 42 at the county board, I was just honored for my 500th consecutive meeting. Nobody's ever had a record like that. And I thought, maybe I've just met enough people and made enough influence on enough people that I can overcome whatever garbage they might throw around. But I'm, you know, I'm here to be a candidate of the people. You know, I, 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 I'm known as a guy who, who gets things done. Uh, the Press Gazette, in 2000, they said I was, they named me number six of 100 most important, most influential people of the century, of the last century. I don't know how I got that honor from those guys because they never treated me very well, but. They know that I'm, you know, in the forefront of all issues, and I am a transparent person. You'll get total transparency with me. All right. We will talk issues with Guy Zimmer right after we come back. So please stay with us.